Welcome to this episode of Shoe Care Academy powered by Rejuvenator, where we teach you the do's and don'ts of sneaker cleaning. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. We drop two videos every single week. Also, make sure you like, comment, favorite, and share this so that way everybody in your circle can learn how to properly take care of their sneakers with Rejuvenator. Today, we have three different pairs of New Balance sneakers. Starting from the oldest to the newest, as far as the dates that they were released, we got the New Balance 515s. This is a suede and mesh sneaker, as well as it's got some foam and plastic along the back. Next, we've got the New Balance 327s. This is a mesh sneaker with some suede components, as well as foam and rubber along the backside. And last but not least, we've got the New Balance 2002Rs. This is a mesh upper with suede panels, a little bit of leather, as well as some foam and uh, like plastic on the back. Now to clean these up today, we're gonna be using the Rejuvenator Essential Cleaning Kit plus our Suede Revive Bundle. That's gonna include our dry suede cleaning kit, mink oil, and the horsehair brush. All of these sneakers have suede on them, so we're gonna be doing a dry cleaning plus a wet cleaning, and then a little bit of after cleaning as well. All we have to do now is get our cleaning station set up and get rid of one side of these shoes, since as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, we only clean one shoe, so that way we can show you the before and after purposes. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, I'm gonna get rid of this one, and I'm gonna get rid of this one. Now, let's get our cleaning station set up so that way we can start tackling all of this suede. First step we need to do is insert our adjustable shoe trees into each of these sneakers so that way it'll help reform the sneaker as well as give us a nice hard surface to really put pressure onto these toe boxes to get this suede, mesh, and other materials super cleaned out using our solution. XL Shoe Tree Bars! These things fit up to a size like 16 or 17, maybe even 18, I don't know. They're big, these shoes are big get yourself some XL shoe tree bars. Now that we have our shoe trees inserted into each of these sneakers, next thing I'm gonna do is take out the laces so that way we can start the dry cleaning process. Now that we have the laces removed, the first thing I wanna do is use the medium bristle brush and I'm going to dry brush all of the top layer of dirt off of each of these shoes, simply because you don't wanna put water and solution onto a shoe that has top layer of dirt and grime on it because all you're gonna do is rub that into the shoe. So first thing we're gonna do, take our brush and just lightly get the top layer of dirt off. Now that we've dry brushed all three of these shoes, you can tell how dirty that top layer of dirt was simply by just trying to brush it off with our standard medium bristle brush. Next thing I'm gonna do is use our dry suede eraser from the Rejuvenator Dry Suede Kit just to hit some of these darker, deeper stains to see if we can help lift them up prior to getting the shoe wet. Make sure that you don't put a lot of pressure onto the material because you do risk damaging it. You just wanna take the eraser and just slowly move it around on the suede to really help get the eraser through the material and actually lift out any of those stains or marks that you have on your suede shoes. That's gonna wrap up using the dry suede eraser. The next thing we're gonna do is move over to our wet cleaning. Now, since the sneaker is suede, we wanna be very mindful and careful for how much water and solution we're putting on the materials. We're gonna to wanna to try to keep it as dry as possible, just lightly getting it wet and scrubbing it in. So for this, we're gonna use two squirts of our solution into our bowl of water. Now, this four ounce bottle of solution can clean up to 50 pairs. So two squirts in our bowl of water is good enough to do all three of these shoes. Now that we have our solution in our bowl of water, I'm actually gonna take the laces from all three of them and let them soak in the water during this entire process so that way they can hopefully break down this dirt and grime while we're cleaning the sneakers. First thing you wanna do is use our soft bristle brush. It's the softest brush that's included in the Rejuvenator Essential Kit and it's perfect for cleaning these delicate materials because you don't risk damaging the materials due to the bristles on this brush. Just dunk it in the water, let it drip a little bit and let's lightly clean the top layer and pat dry as we go so we don't oversaturate the suede and risk damaging it any more than it may already be from just being as dirty as it is. Since the upper of this sneaker does feature a mesh type nylon upper, we really want to flush out the material the best way we can using the soft bristle brush and water in the solution. So for this, I'm going to really clean deep inside the sneaker all the way around to really flush out the trapped in stains with avoiding the suede as much as possible. 
Now that we finished cleaning the entire upper of the sneaker using our soft bristle brush, you can tell how great of a job we did using the dry suede kit ahead of time because this sneaker is already looking a lot better. Now this does have this like mesh nylon, I don't really know what type of material this is up top here. It still is looking a little bit dirty. It is wet, it may brighten back up. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to put this sneaker in the laundry system, but we may have to. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time just to see how this kind of lightens up as it dries. But until then, we're gonna move on to our medium bristle brush. Get your brush wet, soap up the sneaker, lightly brush it. Don't put too much pressure, especially in the suede materials, and pat dry as you go. And let's see how well we can get this material to flush out without using the laundry system. This brush is nice. It's kind of an all-purpose brush. It's great for tons of different types of materials. Even on the suede, we used it on this back panel, as well as I hit this toe box up a little bit again with this same brush. It actually really helped lift some of that marks and staining out of there. Next, and the last step we have to do on this is use our stiff bristle brush. This is our stiffest bristle brush. You don't want to use it on anything except for any of your hard rubber outsoles or some of your foam midsoles. So be mindful when you're using this brush that you don't rub up against other materials because you do run the risk of damaging them. All right, that's gonna wrap up the cleaning on this New Balance 327. As you can tell, the sneaker's looking a lot better. It does look a little dingy because the sneaker is wet. I'm gonna go throw it outside, probably come back in about an hour and it should be dried. It is 80 degrees outside here in Arizona, so it should dry pretty fast. While this is outside drying, I'm gonna move over to our next sneaker, which is the New Balance 515. Be right back. That 327's outside drying. Next, we're gonna move on to this New Balance 515. It's got suede, mesh, it's got some like cotton material inside here. The back of this is like the super fuzzy soft material. So we're gonna have to be pretty mindful when we're using different brushes on this. So first thing we're gonna do is grab our soft bristle brush and then lightly go around all these suede panels to hopefully flush out this material the best we can. We're gonna just get into it using our soft bristle brush and get to cleaning. All right, that's gonna wrap it up using our soft bristle brush on the upper. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how well it really cleaned this like cotton mesh material on the sides here. I was really thinking it was gonna have to go in the laundry, but after we use our soft bristle brush, I don't think we're gonna have to because it actually cleaned it very, very well and I'm pleasantly surprised and I've been doing this for years. Next step, we're gonna move on to our medium bristle brush and we're gonna clean this foam outsole as well as this plastic back tab. All right, I hit these midsoles twice using our medium bristle brush. It got some of that top layer of dirt off, but there is some deeper, darker marks and staining along this foam here. So for this, I'm gonna move over to our stiff bristle brush. Now this foam you need to be mindful of. You do run the risk of scratching and or gouging into it if you put too much pressure with the stiff bristle brush on this foam midsole, as well as the outsole. But we're just gonna take it and try to get these marks out. All right, that's gonna wrap up these 515s. We used our three brushes and solution to clean these up, and I'm very, very surprised and pleased at how well they cleaned up. All I gotta do is set them outside with those 327s to let them dry, come back, and we'll hop onto those 2002s. So while the 515s and the 327s are outside drying, we're going to basically rinse and repeat these 2002Rs. Now, the 2002R does have a premium suede material, and I know that because I have a lot of these because this is one of my favorite models of New Balance, um, but the 2002R suede is a super duper premium suede, so you have to be very, very mindful of it. With this mesh material all on the upper here, we're gonna try to be mindful using the medium bristle brush to not snag or fray any of the material, but we really have to get down deep in here and really flush this out and then pat dry it to get the stains out. First thing we're gonna do is move over to our soft bristle brush. Now, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but the second you put any water and solution onto this sneaker, this material just sucks it right up and just really absorbs it deep into it. So I've been putting a little bit more solution on there than I typically would, but I am already starting to see where this suede material is getting a little bit damaged by already oversaturating it. So when you are cleaning these 2002 R's, just be very mindful that this material is super absorbent and will take in all of the water and the solution that you put onto it. Try to put less and go over it more frequently than oversaturating the material one time. They're cleaning up a lot better. There was some deeper staining over here, so I did this area two or three times, as well as back here in the heel, I cleaned that area two or three times. But other than that, it's looking really, really good. Next thing we got to do is tackle the midsole as well as the outsole. So for that, I'm going to use my medium bristle brush to go around and get into these more concave and kind of like harder to reach areas. Then after that, I'm going to move right over to my stiff bristle brush to clean this outsole. And then we'll wrap it up and set it outside with the other ones. 
The sneaker's looking great. It does look a little bit dingy because it is wet. There are some deeper stains that the soft bristle brush did not get out of the suede material, and I'm okay with that because we're gonna go back and use our dry suede kit after the sneaker's fully dried. The main thing was trying to get the mesh as flush out as we possibly could. Therefore, we didn't have to put the sneaker in the laundry system. The last thing we have to do is set it aside and let it dry. But before we put it outside with the other two sneakers, we've gotta address these laces. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, this is the same bowl of water and solution that we've had this entire cleaning. I haven't put any more solution in this bowl. We're still using that same two squirts as we did before. Just two squirts in the bowl of water and you can clean a bunch of shoes at one time. I was pretty weary of how the essential kit was going to clean all of these mesh upper materials without putting them through the laundry system, but I'm pleasantly surprised at how well they've cleaned up. They are all looking great. Now, the next step we have to do is tackle all of these suede panels. We did our best to try to not overly saturate the material because we do know that it does risk damaging it. However, just with cleaning it with water and solution, you're always gonna run into crunchy suede. However, we have a super easy way to fix that. That is our medium bristle brush. All we're gonna do is basically brush around the shoe to try to reset the nap, as well as clean up some of this darker staining that may still be on there. After that, we're gonna hit it with our dry suede eraser to see if we can eliminate any of these other marks. Since these sneakers do feature lighter colored suede panels, the staining may be prevalent because they are just actually stained. And unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. Now that I've dry brushed this shoe with the medium bristle brush, you can see how the suede has been brought back to life simply by brushing it with the brush. This does take time, go slow, don't rush it, don't be forceful with it, move the brush around in multiple different angles to really help reset the suede back to its original condition. After you get done dry brushing your sneakers, you're gonna have the suede back to its original condition where it's gonna be nice and soft and supple all the way around. Now, since we have dry brushed these shoes, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is really condition this suede to get it back to its natural state and keep it preserved for longer terms. For that, we're gonna use the Rejuvenator Mink Oil. This stuff is super easy to apply. You simply hold the can away six to eight inches, apply a light, even coat to the sneaker, let it sit for a minute, then bring in the Rejuvenator Horsehair Brush and just brush in the mink oil. This way it'll help recondition the sneaker as well as give it a little bit more life. Now that we've finished resetting the nap as well as reconditioning the suede on all of these sneakers, the last step we have to do is lace them up. Hopefully I get the right ones. Now that finalizes the cleaning on all three of these New Balance sneakers. All of them have very similar materials with suede, mesh. Uh, there is some leather elements on the 515s and the 2002s. You can do this same exact thing at home with a few simple products. Check out rejuvenator.com and pick up the Suede Revive Kit plus the Essential Kit. It's a bundle already packaged together online for $79.99 at rejuvenator.com. It's gonna include the Rejuvenator Dry Suede Kit, Mink Oil, the Rejuvenator Horsehair Brush. Also, it comes with the Rejuvenator Essential Kit. There was a few other products that we used on this cleaning that are great to add to your at-home cleaning station. First is gonna be the Rejuvenator Cleaning Mat. As you can see, it's here on the surface. It's been here the entire time. It's super absorbent and helps maintain the top of your surface, so therefore you don't get any water damage or anything else. Next was our drying rack and bowl combo. It's an excellent place to store your brushes while cleaning, as well as giving you a very convenient spot to put your water in solution. Also, we put shoe trees in every single one of these shoes. They're sold online as a two pack, which comes with basically four shoe trees, but good for two pairs of sneakers. All these products can be found online as well as others at rejuvenator.com. Make sure you use my link down below to help save yourself some money. Let's get rid of this stuff and check out some before and afters. As you can see on these three two sevens, the suede is looking great. The mesh side panels are looking even better. Our outsoles, they weren't too dirty, but they definitely had some marking on them and they're definitely cleaned up. One thing to note about these is be mindful of the red tag on the tongue because it did bleed a little bit on the inside as well as a little bit on the tongue. Next, we had the New Balance 515s. Now this has a super soft suede as well as a towel-like mesh upper. As you can tell, all of these panels cleaned up very, very well. This suede came back to life super duper nice. It is super soft to the touch and you can't even hear it anymore. It was very, very crunchy before, but it's looking amazing. Look how good these look. And last but not least is my favorite pair of New Balances, not this colorway, but the model, the 2002 R's. Now this sneaker has super premium suede all around the outer, as well as it's got different types of suede on the heel cup, 
on the side panel and also right around this front ventilated panel. All these different suede materials were kind of hard to clean up, but we utilized the dry suede kit ahead of time to help really get that top layer of dirt and grime off prior to ever putting water in solution on any of these sneakers. That helped tremendously. If you didn't do the dry cleaning ahead of time, I bet you would have had a much harder time getting these sneakers to look as good as they do. The last thing I have to do is clean the other ones so we can get them back for the customer. I appreciate you all hanging out. Hopefully you learned something. Drop a comment down below and let me know what the next sneaker is you wanna see us clean. Other than that, my name's Nick, I'm out. We'll see you next Saturday.